teams for you now. In goal for Ketron is uh, Paul White. 12, Dion Kelly Evans. 19, Craig Stanley. 15, Declan Towers. 14, Marcus Kelly. 7, Lyndon Meekle. 6, Michael Richardson, captain. 11, Reese Honus. 10, Ben Milnes. 8, Aaron O'Connor. And 9, Dan Holman. Your subs today for the Poppies are number 18, Nathaniel Roturner. 4, Brett Salkin. 5, Gary Storer. 16, Luke Graham. And 19, Adam Cunnington. It is uh, the home side now we'll go through. In goal is Martin Conway, 2, Ben Jackson, 3, Mark Coulson, 4, X Poppy Munash, Sundayer, 5, Tom Wood, recently signed from St. Neitz, 6, Jarvis Wilson, 7, Owen Wallace, 8, Robbie Parker and Captain, 9, Ty Ward, 10, X Poppy Ben Baker, and 11, Ben Seymour Shove. The subs for the Saints this afternoon read like this. 12 is Jordan Patrick. 14, George Bailey. 15, Ollie Snaith. 16, Ando Ose Bonso. And 17, ex Ketrin player Jake Newman, who was injured that game at Latimer Park. Meikle intercepts, gets the ball over to Kelly now. Kelly with a bit of space on this left-hand side. Plays it back to Meikle. Meikle. Honus. Meikle does well. He's got a bit of space to run here. So Connor in there. Can he find O'Connor? Out comes the goalkeeper. And uh, Martin Conway did well coming out in his six-yard box just in front of advancing O'Connor. Good work, though, from Meikle. But uh, still nil-nil. The ball being released uh, rather quickly. It's on the far side to Ben Jackson. Trying to find Monash Sunday. It found Baker. Baker, a little flick. Lovely little flick there. And there's going to be a foul. And the referee's let that go. There should have been a foul there on the St. Uh, Ives player. The referee blows the whistle. It's going to be Kelly over the ball with Milnes. The Richens with the long runner, but it's Kelly. Kelly puts one in, and it's uh, tipped over the bar by Conway. We're on the newly fantastic, actually, uh, gantry up here. It's uh, colossal. You could get uh, about 17, 18, 19, 20 cameras up here, I would have thought, if you wanted to. It's uh, fantastic construction they've put up here, and we're the first to use it, which is uh, super and we are filming this game. Hopefully we'll get some uh, highlights for you to look at. Not being to nothing much at the moment. Away comes Seymour Shove. He's one-on-one -on -one here with Paul White. Comes over, puts the ball over. And uh, it's a penalty. Paul White has uh, given away a penalty on Seymour Shove. It looked like that he was going to get away with it. The referee wanted to see what uh, was uh, going to happen. The ball went over. Paul White was going to go out for a throw-in. The referee waited, decided that it was a penalty and uh, gives St Ives the chance to uh, go 1-0 ahead here at Westwood Road, really against the run of play. It was an opportunist counter-attack from St Ives. It's Parker over the ball, Paul White uh, in goal there, obviously. Referee blows his whistle, Parker steps up to it, in comes Parker, takes it. Paul White goes the right way, but he can't get his uh, hand to the ball and... Uh, St Ives take a 1-0 lead through a penalty. And uh, Ketrin find themselves uh, behind again. I make that uh, 32 minutes on the, uh, on the clock. Kelly, nobody with him at the moment. Got Baker in front of him, comes inside Baker, puts it towards Meikle. Meikle in the centre circle, finds Richens. Richens squares it to Towers. Towers advancing into the... Uh, St Ives half feeds through O'Connor. This time O'Connor is onside. O'Connor fires one in. And anything on target, he just scored and he blams it over. Honus with a bit of work here, down by the byline. Puts the ball in towards the back post. That's Cunnington. Misses it. Meikle's got the ball. Can he tie a shot? He can't. Still Meikle with it. Blocked. Meikle fires one in. Still blocked. Holman. Paras it for Richens. Tries a wide shot and that goes wide of Conway. Catching couldn't really get the sight right for that. Conway delivers the ball. There's uh, Stanley wins it. It's going to go towards uh, Colson. He doesn't win the ball. Honus does. Honus uh, has got O'Connor one side of him. Feeds the ball through to O'Connor. O'Connor shoots. One all. Yes. Back in it. Super strike from O'Connor. And uh, he's uh, made amends for that miss. Beautiful goal from Aaron O'Connor. One all. Catch him back in it. Kelly has to come inside under pressure. He's got two round him. Still Kelly being pressurised by Jackson. Plays the ball back to Stanley. Stanley, long ball towards Cunnington. And there's Kelly Evans behind him. There's Cunnington. Cunnington goes down. 
that should be uh, should be something. Nothing given by the referee. Cunnington was hauled down there. But uh, once again, referee denies Ketrin. Honus has got Seymour shoved behind him. He's got Kelly Evans on one side of him. He's going to release uh, Kelly Evans. He does do. Here comes Kelly Evans. Ball comes over. He hits it too heavy. Honus goes down, fouled in the penalty area. And nothing given again. The Ketrin fans and players going ballistic at the linesman. Parker wins the ball back. He gets it to Colson, but he only hooks the ball to Stanley. Stanley turns, plays the ball back to Paul White. Paul White needs to deal with this sensibly, otherwise he's in trouble. Paul White uh, doesn't deal with it. And then is fouled in the process and goes down. At Seymour Shove has fouled uh, Paul White. Now this could be a red. And we'll soon see what it is. It's a yellow. Paul White uh, goes down, but as Paul White was trying to clear the ball there, Seymour Shove let him have one and uh, he went down there plays the ball back wide to Meikle Meikle on the byline puts the ball forward towards O'Connor O'Connor might get this does put the ball forward here it goes open there and Cunnington then is brought down and the referee might give something this time I'm not sure the linesman was flagging and he has given a penalty to Ketrin now that was a foul off the ball and the linesman flagged as uh, Cunnington went down. This is Ketrin's 20th awarded penalty of the season. And they have scored 15 of uh, those uh, penalties. Holman steps up, fires, and misses. Once again, Holman has put it wide. Good save by, uh, good save by Conway. Just what we don't want to see, but it's a uh, Ketrin corner. Kelly, back post, here's... A brilliant save on oh, off the line well 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 a missed penalty there was uh, Cunnington who headed the ball into the goal mouth to be denied by a brilliant save on the line by the goalkeeper there was uh, O'Connor coming in to tap it into the empty net it was blocked on the line again Kettering can't get the ball in the net 20 minutes to go of this second half ball towards Cunnington flicks on towards Holman Holman's got to Colton here's Holman can't win the ball, flicked it on, and it finds uh, Honus on this wing here. Honus comes inside the penalty area now. Here comes Honus. Can he do anything with it? Goes to one side, goes to flick the ball through. Great goal! Oh, my word! What a goal from Honus! 2-1! Absolutely brilliant work from Honus! Wow! Well, after all that pressure, a missed penalty. One off the line from the Cunnington header. A block shot on the line from O'Connor. The ball was put wide out there. You thought all the way that uh, Honus was going to weave in and out and cross the ball. He hit it instead. It went into the roof of the net. 2-1. And so are St Ives. But for the moment, it's a throw-in taken by Kelly Evans to Holman. Back to uh, Kelly Evans. Cunnington's been given the ball inside the penalty area. Pushes through to Mikkel. Mikkel fires a shot. And uh, high and wide of Conway's goal. Back to the throwing taker. Kelly clears it towards Holman. Holman can't control the ball. It's pumped back into there again. Towers underneath it. But against I've get the ball. Mikkel trying to win the ball back. Seymour shove. Pumps the ball through towards uh, Baker. Goes down. Referee says no this time to a penalty. He's diving around his Baker. Nothing given as he's rolling around as if he'd been shot by a sniper. And uh, he's still down, Ben Baker. Nothing given. Some of the fans seem to make their way out of the ground. The black and white scarves, I hasten to add. Conway, long ball in. Headed on there. There's dangerous here for Ketrin. Kelly Evans gets the ball away. Sundar trying to get it. There is Jarvis. He puts the ball through to Bailey. Bailey puts one in. Headed out. Dangerous stuff here. Bailey tries a long range. It comes in. And Paul White. And it comes off a deflected uh, boot for a corner but it's going to be a corner to be taken by St Ives in it comes near post headed out Paul White bats it down and he's just hooked away by Kelly Evans and another throw into Ketrin in the same position ball has gone nowhere the referee again looks at his arm Tom Cherry uh, asking how long to go Marcus Law comes out of the dugout he's been stood up quite a while Marcus Law store up with it from the throw in on the byline very very tight indeed it's a Slashing and kicking going on there. Can't see what's going on, but Ketrin get the ball away, and this time it uh, is all over. There goes the whistle. Well, that was uh, a bit of a surprise ending there. Ed Palmer pumps his fist. Ketrin come away with a 2-1 win, a good 2-1 win, a great second half. The march continues, still five points clear.